to it. Yeah. The New Zealand badminton team has a long history at the Commonwealth Games and has won a total of 11 medals to date. New Zealand is one of only six teams that have attended all the Commonwealth Games. Originally named the British Empire Games, the event was first held in 1930 in Ontario, Canada. And after a long break of 12 years, the fourth event was held in New Zealand. Today, 1950, Auckland City stands ready to welcome athletes to the British Empire Games, for which New Zealand is a proud host. Teams are coming into Auckland from Canada, Ceylon, South Africa, Australia, England, Scotland, Wales, Rhodesia, Nigeria, Fiji and Malay, meeting here to share in this festival of Empire Sport. In 1974, the Games returned to New Zealand, hosted in Christchurch. It was an important milestone for the country as it marked the introduction of color television. The Christchurch Games became famous for the closing ceremony. But something snaps. The athletes rebel. The giant happening takes place. The commentator might have exaggerated a bit, but it was well and truly party time until the Queen brought back some dignity. May they display cheerfulness and concord, so that the spirit of our family of nations may be carried on with ever greater eagerness, courage and humour for the good of humanity and the peace of the world. Auckland was the host again in 1990, by which time the Games had evolved into a multicultural spectacle. It was a successful event for New Zealand teams, winning 17 golds. 1998 was the first time Rugby Sevens was included in the Commonwealth Games, and New Zealand won the gold, beating Fiji and Australia. In 2002, table tennis was the new sport, and New Zealand women's team won four medals, while shining star Lee Chun Lee took out the women's singles gold. Following in her footsteps, this year's table tennis team is training hard. Jenny Hung just turned 15 when she competed at the 2006 Games in Melbourne. I think our best chance is in the team's event. Um, last time we lost in the quarterfinals to Australia, um, but this year we beat Australia at the World Champs, so hopefully um, we can win at least a bronze for the teams. Yeah. All better. Yeah, all better, definitely. <laughs> Yang San is the only member of the team who's never competed at the Commonwealth Games before. She played for a club in China professionally, then in Germany. But it was the invitation to coach and play for the Bay of Plenty club that brought her to New Zealand. I've been in New Zealand nearly 10 years from now. Um, yeah, I really like New Zealand and I was very proud to be presenting New Zealand as well. Yeah. This team with Karen, me, Young and Annie, we played um, like this team together oh, about for the last three, three, four years. So we've got quite a good team, team bond, I think. The table tennis team is currently led by Karen Lee a medalist at Manchester in 2002. At that time, together with her sister Lee Chan Lee, they recorded some of the greatest moments in New Zealand table tennis history. Karen won medals at doubles and teams events, while Chan Lee won four medals, including one gold in the women's singles. Since then, Chan Lee has retired from competitive play. I'm coaching for New Zealand team. I will concentrate on you know, coaching the Kiwi player, especially the women player. I'm looking for, you know, to win the medal for you know, New Zealand on the Commonwealth game. While the eldest sister coaches and the younger one plays, the Lee sisters will give the New Zealand team a real advantage. Yeah, good. That's good. Yes, Michelle. She's a great coach. Um, she's had so much experience and um, just because she's played for so long and she knows most of the players and she knows how to prepare, um, everything like that. Yeah, so she's, it's great to have her. Yay! Yeah, I would say we have good chance to win a gold medal, even a silver medal. If we got the luck and all the good things on our side, yes. All the athletes will soon get the chance to fulfill their dreams as the 19th Commonwealth Games in Delhi kick off next week. Mm.